Okay, true for a survivalist here. Welcome back to the vault. This is part 27 of our of our um, tutorial on how to best set up your vault. As you can see, our resources are down here. Um, Electricity is down, food's down, and water's down. So let's quickly click on all these. Bring everything back up. Now, because we don't have a Misty Hand, Mister. Mr. Handy Robot that goes back and forth and collects these resources. Every time you come in, you'll you'll sort of see this, um, and as they come back on, you'll you'll get them up to where they need to be. Um, it's not really something you can you can change without getting a Mr. Handy Robot. Now, Mr. Handy Robots will come in the lunch boxes. You do not have to buy them, but if you if you want a Mr. Handy Robot straight away you can buy them um, so the game is designed that way so that it does become much more pleasant to play uh, by buying the Mr. Handy Robots obviously the game designers design it that way um, but you can still have a good experience uh, as you can see I'm just waiting for this water to come back up uh, and we'll be, we'll have everything back in the green. Now, while we're waiting for that, all these people here have finished their training. So we'll go. We'll go through, and we'll click on these. It's giving us coins, caps, I should say, and that's great. Now, if we put these people over the room. We might be able to get an increase in production. No, we're not. So the people in the room are already are at a higher level than the people that are training, but eventually the people that are training will surpass the level of the people in the room and you can cycle them into the room. There is a point you'll reach where everyone uh, is at the same, the highest level of training. So you can see this one here, I put it over the room and it's plus P, uh, P plus one. So that's going to improve the water production. So we'll do that. And same with this person, because we're a bit low on our water production. So that will boost us up a little bit. Now, we've had all these people out in the wasteland and they've all come back. Um, so we've got heaps of goods to collect. Also, we, we've got an extra person here, I think it's this character here, uh, that's a new member of the vault that's come in from the radio station, so we'll bring him in. A quick look at the radio station. No, that's all we have. So we're at 82 plus 1. So I think we should start going for these, uh, these goods. Probably got some good stuff. And immediately we can't accept the second lot of goods got a recipe for a for a outfit um, so we're going to have to either upgrade the storerooms which we can do we'll do that and that one needs to be upgraded too we don't have enough coin caps to do that we can collect this person's goods this person's goods. So that's another another recipe for for a outfit. So that's good. Now we've also um, achieved one of the. We do have a. We've we've achieved the twelve baby. Deliver twelve baby dwellers. We've achieved that. So we got ourselves a lunchbox. That's great. And we got two new. Uh, two new objectives make four friends in the wasteland and sell six pieces of junk so we'll now open this lunchbox flamethrower that's great caps shovel food caps. Well, it was 
was worth it to get the flamethrower I think which we might put on this person I always like to put the best weapons on the door and someone here can get that laser pistol I also have an assault rifle See if I can just get the assault rifle in here quickly. That's it. As you know, I like to put the best weapons in the vault door, the second best weapons in this area, the, the second room, and third room, fourth room, fifth room, and so on as you go down the vault. Now we've got enough caps to upgrade this warehouse again. This de this depot, we'll do that. So we can we can get all these goods in. This person. We'll just put them in this warehouse for now to do some work and collect these items some more recipes the guys have been doing really well everyone that we've had out to the wasteland um, we still don't have enough room so we're going to have to sell some items off weapons here that are pretty ordinary. These are, are pretty good. We'll start selling these off, uh, scrapping these. I find it's best to scrap everything. And then what you do after that is you sell off the scrap that you don't need. down to we'll probably scrap these lower level shotguns We might scrap a few of these. We got, we got three, three, three of each. We probably don't need that many, but what we'll do is we'll hand out the weapons first, and then we'll go back through them, and we can scrap some of this stuff as well. Uh, some of the outfits that we don't use. Um, there's quite a bit here that we don't use, but we might hand out outfits first. Ah, uh, so these are the worst of the worst these um, death claws they're really hard to kill uh, so you'll see once they get through my guys will have a really hard time taking them on see they go into the next room they make it usually through to three rooms. Now as you see the health's going down, I need to click on these guys and give these guys stim packs as quick as they can. They're in this third third room now. There's two left. Quickly click on anyone that needs a stim pack. If you don't click on anyone that needs a stim pack you'll lose them. They'll die on you. And you'll have to revive them, it'll cost you money. Now he'll go, like I said, into the third room. In here. There's enough of these guys to take him on. And that's. So that's probably the worst attack you'll ever get. Now what you need to do after that is you need to go through and heal everyone. I 
swap, swap someone over by accident. Um, so, quickly go through and heal everyone. Um, because just in case you'll so sometimes get a secondary attack or, so or something will happen. And if you guys are really down like this, uh, they won't be able to take on that attack. Or, um, they'll just, the happiness level will drop too low. That goes pretty low, so. They will recover on their own over time. So if you give, leave a little bit like that, that's fine. Okay. We really are suffering on our water production. It might be time to, to build a, a further water treatment plant here. Um, because we haven't been able to get that up. So, let's quickly check what, what uh, room we've unlocked. So we've unlocked the water purification plant, which is, is actually uh, exactly the room we need. So we'll build that room. Probably build it here. And I'll get some people in there straight away working. Now, I was going to say that the next room, the new cola bottler, actually, if you see this symbol here, it produces water and food at the same time. Now this room here will, will override the food and production rooms. The garden pr produces food and the and the water, uh, the water purification produces water. So this room here, by having several of these rooms, you 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 negate the need for these rooms. So you can um, sort of it's a more efficient way to make water and food. At the moment, we just we just build what we got and and put that in and we'll get some guys in there the best people to put in there are your people who are doing perception so anyone with these uh, vault dweller the armored vault suit is good to go I think we have some more wearing that this is this girl here And one more here. There's a few more in there too. So that's great. Get them up there. That will bring our water production up. As you can see, straight away we've corrected the water production. Now we want to bring these people up and get them in here exercising. Now I just heard the mysterious stranger. If anyone can see him, let me know because he's worth money. As your vault gets bigger and bigger, it's harder and harder to find. Yeah, I didn't find him. Uh, and that person's got, I think that person's got a armored vault suit on. So then we'll hand out a few more armored vault suits to anyone that's, and, and weapons. Just go through, find your, your dwellers that are, are unarmed and arm them up. go so they're not wandering around put them in a room sign them to a room it stops you just having people aimlessly wandering around um, got a few more vault suits so I think I'll get a few more military fatigues going try to balance it out between the three uh, groups of people you need you need people to work in the power station, you need people to produce food, and you need people to produce water. So the best food always seems to need agility, and agility is these jumpsuits, handyman jumpsuits. Water is perception, which is the vault, uh, armored vault suit, and strength is for the power, which is power generation, which is the um, military fatigues. So we'll quickly, yeah, you can see now by building that that room, we're we're doing really well. Um, let's see if I can find anyone else who's not wearing. This person's not. So if you have those three groups, you can you can sort of cycle your people around quite quite easily. You're not if you got people in 
she's wearing uh, battle armor. It's better if she has something like a lab coat. We don't have uh, so we so the lab coats are used in these rooms, science science rooms. Um, so that's also useful. So you can cycle people around as you need them. And the so wasteland gear or all this radiation gear is, is good for sending out people to the wasteland because it increases endurance. So we still got a few people we'd like to get in. We'll see if we what we can craft. We've unlocked another weapon. The rare weapons. Yeah, we just I'll go through. We've still got two guys that need to come back in. I'll just quickly go through the junk. We're probably getting too much or something. So 32 is probably too much. We keep it down to you can see I saw it off. Keep it down to 25. This this two. And uh, getting a few of these. So you just about resource management. Um, so let's see if we can get those guys in. It's a rad scorpion. Going pretty hardcore on it. He, he broke into this room, alright. Probably kill him in this room. They're pretty tough things to kill. You need to go through and just quickly heal everyone. We have a quick look. Whoever needs healing. You don't want to leave people not unhealed. Their happiness will go down and they'll be. Uh, they'll get killed on another attack. Right. These people probably, they'll only, yeah, they'll, they'll heal themselves. Alright, let's collect this reward. We gotta rush, uh, rush 25 rooms. That's a lot of rooms to rush. We might do that. Slowly. Alright, now what I really want to do is is uh, try to get these people in. We can. Alright. And we've got one person on the way back, she's one meter from the vault. We have to send a whole lot of people back out too. I'll try to send about eight people back out. But I'd really like to build a decent weapon if we got enough items. We're still lacking key items, so we have can't unable to build anything really good yet, which is um, annoying. So probably the next stage is to consider sending someone out to the uh, gathering up eight different uh, candidates to go out to the wasteland which I'll do off camera and then the last room to open uh, is this new cola bottler which is at 100 dwellers so we now need uh, 17 more uh, of our population now the max the accommodation we got is maxed out at 88 so we'll have to increase living living space to get to that hundred. This person's come back too. Some good stuff. So I'll go through her stuff. I'll 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 um get, get rid of junk and weapons that we don't need and outfits, and then I'll bring her in, and I'll see if we can't build a decent weapon here, combined with the, the junk that she's brought in. She might have some pieces. 
essential pieces that we need that will create the, the combination that we're lacking for the recipe and then I'll send eight people back out to the wasteland I'll do some matchmaking to produce more people I'll probably try to match bake about five couples and that will give us another boost of population of five um, the radio station will probably bring in someone and um, probably I'd say by session 29 we should have that 100 100 volt dollars and that will bring us that will have us access to every single room uh, in the whole vault so in 29 steps we will have, have achieved opening all the rooms uh, in this in this game and then we'll go on to add this rooms we haven't added so we'll add all the, the rooms and we'll start uh, going on quests so that will be a new a new era of the, of the tutorial where we'll, we'll f finish building all our rooms and we'll start building up our dwellers and, and actually going on quests so thank you for watching if you like the content please like share and subscribe leave a comment hit the bell icon and we'll catch you on the next uh, next part of of how to master the wasteland